Aloha Church, Scott here. Um, just a couple notes about uh, this Sunday. Uh, I guess this Sunday and one other thing. So this Sunday is it's Thanksgiving. I'm sure you know that. Uh, we are excited to be celebrating the baptism of four of our young people, all whose first name begins with the letter J. Uh, but we'll introduce them this Sunday. So we're gonna have our kids in with the service, uh, except we'll have the uh, the kid care room open. Otherwise, the kids will be in with us. Uh, they should enjoy the morning. We will share the Lord's Supper together. Um, I think Kenzie will have a uh, link in this email with uh, for any parents who want to talk to your kids about the Lord's Supper and need some guidance in that. But we will share together in the Lord's Supper. We will celebrate and bear witness to the baptism of four of our uh, people. And that's exciting. Looking forward to it. Um, I don't know anything else to say about Sunday except that it's Thanksgiving, so it might be pretty full. We are pretty full these days. Um, some folks will be away, but also some friends and family will be with us because it's Thanksgiving and also because of baptism. So do your best to find your parking, uh, and if you're able to park a, at a distance over at the uh, lot by Tyndall, on Tyndall Road by Lambert Park, and then just wander down the path, and we'll try to get going on time. So that's that. Uh, looking forward to it. You can pray for the folks getting baptized. Uh, that God will meet them and this will be a holy moment for them and for us. Um, the other thing is, uh, many of you know, obviously last Saturday was the National Day for Truth and Reconciliation. Um, I'm not sure how you engaged it. Um, I know my family and I uh, spent a bit of time at the powwow down at uh, Royal Athletic Park. But more than that, we watched together the Doctrine of Discovery video that the English Church of Canada put together, um, which to be honest for me was quite a, a learning journey of understanding Canada's history, and what the Doctrine Discovery is and how it shaped um, how Canada was settled and how the land was taken and how that got built into Canadian government policy and uh, how that shaped America and Australia and many other places that were colonized um, yeah, and it, it's it's opened my eyes, I would say. Uh, I think every year there's things we're learning, I, I'm learning, um, and understanding Canada's story. And there's some wonderful resources that uh, some Canadian denominations have put together uh, to help um, churches and Christians learn and understand better our own national history and understand the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. Uh, the, the Christian and Missionary Alliance Church has put together a resource to help Christians understand the the calls to action that came out of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. And over the next season, over the next year really, we are going to just share each week um, one uh, a blurb about an explanation of what one of the calls to action is uh, using this resource from the uh, Christian and Missionary Alliance Church of Canada um, with links and it'll be an opportunity for us to learn. And each week there's 95. Uh, so we're going to share, I think, two a week um, through our uh, Lambert Instagram, but it'll also be on our website for those of us that don't like to use Instagram. And uh, But I just want to invite us to take the opportunity to listen and understand the story of our own country and where God's people are invited to pursue uh, truth and reconciliation. They matter. They matter to us. Our God is seeking uh, to lead us to be a reconciled people to him and to others. That is what the gospel is about. It's very important to Jesus. Yes? So uh, I just want to share what those resources are, pay attention for them coming, and share them with others. And um, I think it'll be uh, good for us. Um, there's many things that God cares about in our world, many things we should be passionate about and praying for and seeking. And this is one of them. It's not everything, but it is one of them. That's a very integral to our own national story. And um, yeah, so thanks friends. Good to be on this journey with you. We love you. Um, talk to you soon. Bye.